Hey gamers. Sorry, I have no idea why I did that because this is LPS2, although I know a lot of you guys do game. Anyways, you guys really seem to enjoy my rainbow tag video that I did and I'll link it up here in case you haven't seen it. You guys were like, wow, it brings back so much nostalgia. Yeah. And then so I was just, you know, scouting around LPS2, as one does, and I stumbled across a video that said something along the lines of LPS series tag. I clicked on that video, and behold, a tag that I had no idea existed on LPS tube. Or if I did, I, I forgot about it, but I don't think I've ever heard of it. My fingers look so red, but I promise you they are not this red. I feel that is like a disclaimer I make in a lot of videos, because I know I get tons of comments about red fingers. Also, just before this video starts, I just want to give myself a little pat on the back. I want to give y'all a pat on the back. That's weird, so I'm not going to pat your back, but you can pat your own back. <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> oh yes, I am officially back from college for the summer. Woo! So exciting. Like, I am so excited. And this earring is sort of bothering me, but like, we're going to keep it because it's a vibe. I'm really surprised I did not miss like a week upload, like I posted about every single week. I mean some days it would be like instead of every Saturday I'd have to like postpone it by like a day or two just because like I wouldn't be in town or something and like the comments get turned off and I wouldn't have access to Wi-Fi so I'd have to like, you know, make sure I have Wi-Fi for a few hours so I can keep turning comments off because <laughs> YouTube is so mean and it keeps bullying me. <laughs> but we did not come here today to talk about our biggest bully, YouTube. We came here to talk about the LPS series tag. Comment down below if you knew this existed because I don't think I knew that it existed, but I'm hoping that people start picking this up because I think it's a pretty cool tag. So all the videos that I like found for the series tag were all in Polish. And so then I had to translate their questions and there's about 10 questions about like LPS series and like creating an LPS series. Anyways, question number one. Have you ever completed your LPS series? Oh yeah, you bet I have. I have actually made multiple LPS series. Some of them have been completed, some of them have not been completed, but the ones that have not been completed, I've been thinking about redoing that whole series eventually when I have the time, so who knows how long that will be, but I definitely wanna start making more LPS series, except they're so time consuming, but all the support that you guys have shown on like Half Hearted and all my other recent series have just like inspired me to like keep making more videos and series because uh, you guys' comments are the sweetest. How many episodes did your series have? Uh, my series have a lot of range of episodes. It can be from anywhere from like a little two-part series, I guess, Catching Feelings. That was sort of like a musical short film though, so I wouldn't call that a series, but like I have a few series that only have like uh, four to six episodes, and then I have some that have like over 10 episodes. Um, I'm pretty sure Half Hearted had like 11 episodes or something like that. But yeah, I think that like, 10-ish episodes or 10 to 12 seem to be like the sweet spot for like me making series like that's just my favorite. The longer the series the more character development and like plot thickening that you can do but also like the shorter the series like the more I guess attention it'll retain because well depending how fast you post the episode but um another story for another time. How many seasons has your series had? Um well um most of them just have like one. Just because what I found, okay, back to the basics, I think it had like two seasons. Yeah, I think it had two. But like the second season, like a lot of the viewers that liked the first season didn't come back for the second season. So I was like, okay, well like this, this might not be a good use of my time. It's getting like less views. No, that's, it's about, it's not, it's not about the views. It's not like, I, I just want, I, don't, I just want to make that clear. I just want to make that clear guys. It's not, it's not, it's not about the views. It's not about the numbers. It's about your passion. I enjoyed making the season two and I'm like glad I did sort of just because I do. I really enjoyed season making season two, but also at the same time like a lot of the people just didn't come back for a season two and so I was like okay maybe just doing one season of like a series like that seems to be like the thing 
So I think that I just do one season for now, but in the future, I'm not saying that there's never gonna be like another season, but in the future there could be. What theme do you value most in LPS series? I think they mean genre, I don't know. Google Translate always doesn't make everything super accurate. So I think genre is more of the appropriate thing for this. I really like making realistic fiction. As you guys can tell, as school series are a really big hit on LPS tube. So if you guys wanna do like a series, I also know fantasy is a really big one actually, like fantasy adventure and stuff like that. So if you guys wanted, like, are looking for a series on LPS Tube to make, like, those seem to be, like, super in. Also, just, like, any realistic fiction series uh, just seems to be, like, popular because it's so relatable. But I also, I really want to make, like, another fantasy series, uh, maybe, like, a sci-fi, a little action. Although it's so, like, uh, I don't like editing action in LPS because when LPS fight, it's just so lame. It's just, like... Question number five to make absolutely no sense. What theme slash scenes do you like to record on the show the most? Huh? I, I mean, I know I just moved back from college today, but I don't think my brain is this dead yet. Um, I like to make scenes where I don't have to change up the scene a lot because it makes filming so much easier. And after you just film a series, like, your room just gets so messy. Like, if you guys film LPS videos, you know that, like, after any video you make, your room just gets so messy. It's, like, insane. Um, so yeah, I, I have no idea what that question is. So <laughs> we're just gonna um, use my um, Uno skip card. Yeah. Question number six. What is your favorite show you have made? I don't know. I don't know. Am I very basic if I just say half-hearted? <laughs> Ow. Like, I don't want to say half-hearted just because it's like the newest, but like, oh, I feel like the plot was like deeper than every other series I have made. Like, I feel like it's more matured it ages like fine wine i don't know <laughs> i don't know back to the base it's like telling me to choose a favorite child but it's like not that hard actually because my older series bro those are crusty like you don't need to go back and watch those like back to the basics and i feel like half-hearted like those are the only relevant ones that like matter <laughs> and then who is my favorite character from the series i'll do one from um half-hearted and i'll do one from back to the basics so let me go rummage through my bins and see which character really speaks to me okay guys call me basic call, call me basic or call me back to the basics <laughs> okay i'm sorry that was that was, that was, a, that was a terrible okay it, it was funny in my head okay i can't decide but i think it might be between these three we got andrew he's missing his color and i was too lazy to put it back on so we got andrew um we got blair and we got parker i feel like parker is just so awkward and quirky in his own little way he's funny because he's easy to bully <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I bully Parker, but like, he's easy prey. I feel like Blair just speaks to me. And then Andrew, he's really funny. Also his little buddy Ryan, I don't know. They make quite the dynamic duo if I may say so myself. And for half-hearted, I think that the character that takes the cake for me is also missing his collar. But I think it's gonna be Cody just because I made him like the most wholesome least problematic character in the series for a reason because he wanted to be like i wanted to make him like the ultimate prince charming you know so yeah i had to make him practically perfect even though perfect doesn't exist but um he definitely does have his flaws which weren't, weren't showed too much in the series for a reason because i want to keep him like pure you know um so yeah i think cody would probably be my favorite i don't know amara or Cami might be a close second, but um, no, they're not even close seconds. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? They're far seconds, but like second place. They'll take second place. Question number eight is what part of your creation do you spend the most time on? Like script, costume, set, design, recording, or editing? I would definitely say uh, filming. Like, filming takes so long, especially when you have to transition scenes. The episodes that had, like, the most transition scenes were always, like, my least favorite just because they made my room so messy and they were so time-consuming. So I would say recording probably took the longest, followed by editing, because I really don't like editing series and a lot of people wanted me to do, like, previously on, which I think would be a really good idea, except I don't have the patience to edit that in. I don't write scripts for any of my videos, really, so... I write, usually write down like a few bullet points and I really enjoy that process because it's like 
your idea on paper just like comes to life better. What are you inspiring or guided by in creating the idea for the series name or the characters? Well, I think that I did this tag completely wrong. I think I was just supposed to focus on one series on my channel and not talking about like all of them as a whole because obviously this is different for everything. For Back to the Basics, the reason I came up with that title name was school. It's basics and they're going back to school so it's like back to the basics you know also like I really didn't know what, like a good name for that so I just googled some like this is like uh, I'm totally exposing myself right here I just like google school scrapbook titles and like these like crafty moms always come up with like little scrapbook titles and then I just like saw it back to the basics and I was like oh that's a good one that, that is a solid idea scrapbook mom like yeah I don't know why but I feel like scrapbooking websites just have like some pretty catchy like little titles and then for uh, my recent series Half Hearted I was listening to one of my favorite bands We Three I love them so much I was listening to their songs and I was like oh these songs are so good the title half-hearted that's like a good thing because I didn't want to call it like romance romance school or something you know I wanted it to be like little spicy so I didn't want to just call it like school love or something you know it needs to be like different and then I like googled that to make sure that that series name didn't already exist and it didn't so we were like oh we're good to go we're good to go boys what are your favorite LPS series and why are they so valuable to you oh I guess I didn't answer the last question all the way like how do I develop my characters or like come up with their ideas uh okay we'll do a speed round Amara is like your extroverted best friend who's like really nice but she also does definitely have her flaws and she's definitely romantic Cami is like that smart friend the one you can depend on but she also also has things that she's struggling with and as she's like trying to find herself and like who she is and when you like have that friend that is like or even you who's like do I satisfy like my parents once or like what I like want like you know Drew the just up to good no good sidekick who really is brainless sometimes and doesn't have a major part Desiree just that really edgy rebellious teenager Mr. Tyler just your average frat boy jock dude who gets C's just to get his degree man like yeah Maxwell we got a classic just best friend twin brother very classic dude no drama here. Cody, Mr. Prince Charming and everything I look for in a guy. And lastly, Tori is just that friend who wants to fit in when you're feeling left out and so you'll do whatever it takes even though it might be the wrong path and you're not staying true to your heart. And I am so sorry this video is so long but I hope it's at least somewhat entertaining. What is your favorite LPS series? Well, I like a lot of LPS series. I've watched so many LPS series. The first one that always comes to mind is Four Stories by Awesome Possum Productions. I always think that one's really good. I also really like uh, Super Series by A Light Pause. Uh, there was also Outsiders Musical by LPS Hannah was pretty good. Soulbound is another good one. The Dragon Princess by Festival Films was really good. Um, there's just so many. Like, I cannot name them all but like there's so many and I'm missing so many. I'm, I'm I'm sure I'm missing like some of my favorites. I just don't remember them off the top of my head, but there's so many good LPS series, guys. Like just explore LPS tube. It's so inspiring and you just find so many good series. Like I have found the most underrated series ever and I'm like, how does this not have more views? How do you not have more subscribers? Like this is amazing. How has this not gone like viral? Well guys, I think that basically concludes this LPS series tag. Again, sorry for the length of the video. Thank you all for watching and I tag you all to do this tag. Cause it's a tag after all. Tag your it, tag your it. <laughs> go do it, go do it. <laughs> and then comment on this video saying once you've done it because I'd love to watch your guys' videos. Woo! Um, so yeah, I think you all should um, have a great day. I, it's a great day to have a great day. I think that's a quote from somewhere and I totally just stole it, but um, it's true. Have a wonderful and magical day, guys. Bye! <laughs>